Taurus, your weekly toxic love reading begins with judgmental and lust. That's for you and the person in this toxic connection, pain and ruthless. Wow. All right. So that's the toxic energy running through this connection. Let's go ahead and get right into your actual spread. In the center, you have a page of cups and you have justice. For you, your energy, three of cups, page of pentacles, queen of cups. For your person, the lovers, eight of pen pentacles and the chariot. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of pentacles. All right, so Queen of Pentacles energy, really somebody who puts their heart and soul, you know, their blood, sweat, and tears into the things that matter to them, you know, manifesting those things, their lives, you know, their, their environments, their living condition, their health, everything around them, the things that they create. That's all like very important. Queen of Pentacles is very close to Empress energy, you know, just luxuriating, but also, <clears throat> excuse me, putting that work in putting that time and work and effort in to have um, a good life, right? Now, whew, judgmental and lust, pain, and ruthless for your person. Let's talk about the center energy between the two of you in this toxic connection reading. Page of Cups covered by justice. So this is um, a fresh thing here, right? <clears throat> Page of Cups energy seems to indicate a newness here, like an almost immaturity in love uh, covered with justice energy, like a karmic balancing or a karmic rebalancing, as it were. Um, there seems to be a power dynamic here that is out of balance or needs to come into balance, right? There's an issue here with it. So a lot of you Tars who are resonating with this right now, you're being extremely sociable. You're hanging out with a lot of your friends. You're going out. Um, and you're doing a lot of things on your own. Some of you are lusting right now. Okay. Meaning that it feels to me like there is a, uh, <clears throat> you're the one who's still kind of, you're not committed. You're the one who's still kind of out and about and living your own life, wanting to do your own thing. I think that you're not quite, uh, as committed to this connection as this person over here, right? Who seems to be, it feels to me as if they might be quite a bit older. They work, they're working a lot. They're very sort of normal, right? <clears throat> this person over here seems like they're very sort of like, um, get up, go to work sort of thing, want something solid, right? Um, this may also be the main breadwinner here in this connection. But you, you you're Taurus right now, you're feeling a little bit, um, there's an immaturity here, it feels like, or childishness or, or just a young kind of feeling of just wanting to be out. Yeah. Well, there's the fool out and about. Yeah. You're, you're not wanting to be tied down. Um, and this person I think wants to tie you down. They want something here with you. You don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. Um, you're juggling. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It feels like you're hiding a lot. You know, you're carrying a lot as well, uh, Taurus. It seems to me that, you know, you may be a little bit afraid to be honest with this person about the fact that you're not really into the connection the way they are. You're just not, you don't want what they want, right? And this, that's what's happening here. And at the same time, there feels like there's a bit of childishness going on about it. Like, it almost feels as though, like, you're very angry at them for sort of being very, you know... Um, uh, responsible, right? You're kind of like, well, you know, why are you being so stuffy? Um, I'm, I'm young. I want to do what I want to do. I'm not ready to get tied down. You know, you are trying to do a lot of different things at once right now. You've got a lot of things going on. You're really, really busy. And at the same time, you do feel for them, but there's a lot of arguing going on here. Um, there seems to be issues with money. There may be a power dynamic here with the money because, you know, they're the ones making it and you're the ones spending it, <clears throat> right? So there's that issue as well coming in. Um, yeah, this feels like a relationship that is like, and especially now with all the five of swords, with all the arguing, feels like a really heavy burden. You're, yeah, judgmental is coming in because you're feeling very judge. You're feeling defensive right now right? It feels to me like 
you know, the way this person, let's get their clarifiers. Yeah, the way this person is coming off is making you feel very defensive. They make you feel young and naive. Tower moment for them, the hermit for them. Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, for them, yeah, there's a heartache here because ultimately I don't think you, you don't present to them with what they want. Okay? And they're trying to be really strong about it. They're, they don't want to be mad. They don't want to be upset about it. But I think ultimately at the end of the day, they're devastated. And the way they react is they pull away in a very cold way. Tower, they have a tower and uh, a hermit moment. So they pull away very quickly from you. They may even pull like money away. If they're the main breadwinner, they may be like, they might shut down the money. I think you, you consider just leaving. There's a coldness here, ruthless, all right? There's that energy. It's falling on their side, but I think to a certain degree, you both feel like the other person is being really ruthless, right? Like you think you're judging, you, you think that they're being very judgmental about you and your life. You're being judgmental about them. <clears throat> they think that you're being ruthless in terms of their feelings, and you think they're being ruthless in the fact that they just stepped off the way they step off. I feel a ghosting energy here. It's too much for them. Eight of Wands and Seven of Wands. They feel, ultimately, I think they feel like, listen, they may fight for this connection with you, but at the same time, uh, on the other flip side, it could go 50-50 in as much they may fight for this connection and having you in their future because they have chariot energy here, but they may also just get overwhelmed by all of these different emotions they have and all of this activity that's going on when they really just want something calm and steady and they ultimately may just fight to be on their own. That hermit energy is strong here. And I think a tower moment comes in when they when you do, there's something that happens here, Taurus, that you do that really hurts them. And they're just like, okay, I need to go. I need to leave for a minute. <clears throat> yeah. I need to leave because they're like, it's too much for them. Listen, this person has a lot more feelings for you than, than you do for them. You're busy. You're social. you got other things going on. You're juggling a lot. You have you don't want any burdens, right? <clears throat> you don't want any burdens. This connection here may have always ever been just about sex. It could be that it was just about sex for you all along. Because again, it started off with a page of cups here, which is like just flirting and nice and you know, it's curiosity. It's not a deep love that started this relationship. You know, it's a real curiosity, a desire for fun started this relationship. And this person here just got very, very serious very quickly, right? And there is your imbalance. And I think you guys may have started off on the same page, but very quickly you diverged. Again, they're heartbroken. They're going to be quite strong about it. But ultimately, they pull back into their Virgo energy here. Some of you, Hermit, may be dealing with a Virgo Taurus. You may indeed be dealing with a Virgo because some of you may be dealing with a uh, Libra, which is justice energy, Gemini lovers, or strength, which is Leo. So you have a multitude of zodiac energies here. You may have them in your chart. Your person may have them in their chart. It doesn't have to be a sun sign. But as I say, um, yeah. You know, this this very quickly turns uh, into something else, and the emotions get quite toxic. And I th I feel like there may this may even end on bad terms because of the bickering because they're so like devastated here by something that you do that's kind of the final straw for them that they just pull away. What are the final energies here? Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, and a Decision. Yeah. So listen, um, it comes in for you that uh, events happen in such a way that, you know, I don't know. It, it, thing, events come in, activities come in, occurrences, things happen that ultimately are for the better here, right? Because I don't feel like the two of you are meant to be together anyway. You want wildly different things. You started off this relationship basically out of curiosity, out of fun. It was very innocent. And one person became very serious. Two of swords, ten of cups. Ultimately, the decisions you make here are going to lead either to happiness or not, right? To full contentment or not. But there is a heavy decision to make here. And I think this decision is about more than just this relationship. This decision has a lot more to do with your life, Taurus, and some of the things that you're doing in it, 
right? That's why it's a difficult decision to make. <clears throat> um, at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility for the fact that whatever this relationship was when it started, one person is walking away from it very hurt and disillusioned. And there has to be some ownership on both sides for that. So it can be that you may have gotten involved with somebody that you knew full well deep down inside couldn't really handle this, but you carried on anyway, you know, with that sort of, oh, well, they're grown, I'm grown, we all consent, you know, that's, you know, they know what they're buying into. And yeah, to a degree, they maybe they know, but um, in the beginning, they knew that this was, you know, that you weren't going to be as serious with them as they are with you. But the other thing that we also know, which is, are the fundamental truths of human nature. And we know that, you know, people change and their emotions change. And we know when we can read somebody and that that person is somebody who's going to fall deeper than you are. You know that too, right? And just because that's not something that's agreed about uh, and talked about, it doesn't mean that it is not also a truth. And so in that way, we all have to take responsibility for what's happened here. I am going to pull a couple of uh, animal spirits here just to see raccoon and a shark. Yeah, watch out. Well, the raccoon is very industrious, earth energy, very, very talented, can use anything as a tool, can make anything, get in anything. Anybody who's dealt with a raccoon knows what I'm talking about. Very intelligent creatures, very intelligent, very grounded. You know, your person's not stupid. This person's not stupid. And even though... You're getting, you know, you, you feel like you're justified in getting away with what you're getting away with here. Um, there is that factor, shark energy, water energy, shark energy talks about dealing with those feelings that bubble right beneath the surface. If you don't deal with those difficult feelings that are just below the surface there, that are just there, but nobody wants to talk about because they're awkward, they're eventually going to erupt just like the shark does out of shallow water. And then you're not going to have much control over what happens. And so take care. Deep, you know, feelings don't have to be that deep. Sometimes they're right there beneath the surface and hiding them and keeping them there is a, is a real danger. Um, <clears throat> you know, in terms of contain, you know, containment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it at that, Taurus. This is your weekly toxic love reading for a connection that you have with somebody that really is going sideways much, much because they are falling much more seriously in, a, in love, I want to say they want something much more serious with you than you want. Yes, this may have not been what was agreed upon in the beginning. It all may have indeed started very, very innocent and lighthearted, but somewhere along the line, it got deeper. And um, there needs to be some kind of communication here, lest this may indeed end in terms of not even being friends anymore, right? This may just really, really end on bad terms. And there's a lot of um, pain to go around. All right. So take care, communicate and take responsibility for what you know in your heart to be your role that you play in this. All right, Taurus, Taurus Cross Watchers, thank you so much for joining me. This is Bow and Arrow Tarot. If you like my readings, please like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff that helps me out. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I wish you all love, life and happiness. And I hope to see you guys all right back here on my channel next week for your weekly love toxic reading. Bye bye now.